Ash, we're uh, we're back out um, on the 25th of February in Doncaster uh, at a new venue for us, um, Doncaster yeah. Dawn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I've, I've, I've got the card somewhere. It's a good lineup. There's about ten of about ten of you on there. Ten or something like that. You. Something like that. Um, but uh, we have an opponent, mate. Uh, we have uh, your first southpaw. Yeah, yeah, Mr. yeah. Mr. Lee Hallett. Yeah. Well, I, do you know what? I've done a lot of, lot of rounds of southpaws in the past and stuff, so. Feel like I'm uh, not too bad. Spider Southpaw recently, and yeah. you know it, it's one of them where you can't rush it. I took like half a round odd to figure it out, figure him out a bit more, and then I started just pushing on once I once I clocked him. Um, but yeah, with Southpaws, it's a matter of just taking that first little bit to figure him out, and then. Well, when I spoke to you on the phone, I, I asked you about Southpaws, and you you went, you don't mind fighting him. So. I don't. You know what? I don't. Some well, it depends. Then it depends on the Southpaw, but. Um, generally, it's, it's, it's a challenge in it, it's a good challenge and I quite enjoy it. Well this is one of those little tick in the boxes that you've got to do for, because this is, you know, 2023 is hopefully going to be your, your, your final learning year. Yeah. Um, I think about 14 months ago you kicked over with us um, and you know this is your, your, your first southpaw, uh, your first six rounder as well. Um, so hopefully it'll be another couple of six rounders and maybe before the end of the year uh, an eight rounder and that could set you up for a great 2024. Yeah hopefully, but fingers crossed I can get about, uh, about five five odd fights this year which would be you know be ideal um, and if I can by the end of the year I'm ready for ready for the next step aren't I? Well, well you're, you're the kid that I really really do enjoy watching mate. You, you, you always put a little smile on my face, you, you, you've got a lovely style, it's, you know, anyone who likes a fighter, a box fighter, you're, you're the guy, you, you make great angles in there, you're always busy, uh, it doesn't matter whether, like I was just saying to you, uh, your coach Matthew, um, your last two fights you fought guys are, are much heavier than you. Twice the size of me. Yeah, yeah, I mean, <laughs> one of them was a middleweight and the last one, uh, you know, a big uh, welterweight, light middleweight in um, Bonds Alexander. Yeah. And, and you've got out and you've bullied them, mate. And uh, use your your size of being small as an advantage against these guys. Yeah, like to be honest, I feel like my defence is alright. I got in the last one, I got caught with a couple of silly ones off phones, but like other than that, I, you know, I, I feel like I've got good ring generalship and I can walk people down if I need to. Do you know what I mean? Um, and I can even without throwing much, I can use my feet and use my like kind of boxing IQ to kind of walk people back onto the ropes and stuff like that and that's kind of what I did there even though like I say they're both a lot bigger than me I managed to walk them back to the ropes both of them. Well this is what's going to be good because I think Lee Hallett fights more around the 140 mark you're hoping when you, you get ready for titles in either the back end of this year or early in 2024 you, you're looking to compete at super lightweight aren't you? Uh, lightweight, lightweight, lightweight. Yeah. Um, so this is a guy that's at least half a stone lighter than, than, the, than the recent fighters that yeah. you fought so hopefully you can um, uh, you can show show a, a slightly different side to yourself. Yeah, it'd be a bit more like uh, with regards to size, it'd be a bit more fair. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Um, like I say, even though I did manage to kind of bully the bigger guys, but this will it, it'll, I'll be able to show more of what I can do because I won't be thinking. I won't be in there with the thing that oh they're bigger than me. Yeah. So I yeah. need to kind of watch out for this, watch out for this. Although obviously I'm not going to switch off, but it'll allow me to show what I can do against someone that's actually my size. Yeah, well Lee, Lee, Lee's, uh, you know, he's got a terrible record, I, I think he's about 57 fights, he's only got one win, but that one win Hallie was ben. against Halle <laughs> yeah. he was 6 and 0 at the time, yeah, yeah. and got on to have three more wins since then. Yeah. Um, so, so you know, you can't underestimate him, and he, uh, he, has, he, he used to fight on our shows quite a lot, and then he, he'd not fought for a while, and then he fought just before Christmas, uh, I think it might have been September, uh, he fought, um, or it might have been December actually, when he fought uh, another very good kid, one of our prospects, uh, Ethan Brown. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, I, and I don't know if it's because he's got a bit of a suntan now, but uh, he, he looks in really good shape. He seems to be the best shape I've seen him in for a long time. I don't know if it's something that he's been working on. Made for a good fight then, won't it? Do you know what I mean? It won't be someone, uh, at least from that, you can tell it won't be someone who'll just lie down, do you know what I mean? And fight no, like no, no, he, yeah. he definitely doesn't lie down and like I say, uh, I think he's got 54 losses on his record, only ever been stopped twice. 
So uh, very, very tough, very durable kid. And a, a kid that I remember a few years back when he was fighting regular on our shows, he fought a kid called Massey Fagan. Matt Fagan was a lovely boxer, but he gave him trouble, you know, he gave him trouble. Everyone hits um, Southport, so, don't they? Well, oh, that's it. <laughs> uh, it's uh, horrible, they all should be banned. <laughs> well, I enjoy it, it brings a challenge, so. Yeah. Yeah. And how's it going down here? When did you get back in the gym? I was never out of the gym, mate. Hmm? Never out of the gym. Well, did you have a little bit, bit of a break over Christmas? Every day? Uh, no, I was training every day nearly. Mm. I had like, I had my normal Sunday rest days, but I was training every day, whether it was, obviously the gym was closed, but whether it was a run or going to, managed to get down to a couple of gyms, like 24 hour gyms or what, and that was it. But I, I carry on training, I don't stop. Because mm. I just. Keeps my, head, keeps my head keeps my head right machine. i'm a machine that's what it is that's what it is we had jamie quinn down here before that must be nice for you as well you know because he's the type of guy that you know he'd probably never be an opponent for you now mm -hmm. but but he not because you've not fought jamie have you no. and uh jamie is normally the guy that you want you know certainly when, when you've had you know five test. fights the quinny test isn't it? The quinny uh, test yeah he's he's the acid test yeah. He's a guy that you you fight uh, when you've got to six, seven, and zero. Oh. Mm. If you want to just confirm whether you're at that next level, mm. he's a guy to bring in because he's, he's silly tough, isn't he? Very tough, yeah. Do you ever get a chance to do rounds with him? I've not done rounds with him now. Never. Well, maybe one day, but not, not yet. Mm -hmm. But he's funny, isn't he? Yeah, he's a lovely guy. He's funny. Yeah, I like top him. guy. He knows. Uh, I think most of those gentlemen, you've got to be characters, haven't you? Yeah. Too tough a sport to be. Normal. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> got to have a not, screw loose, yeah, haven't you? I, I, I think you've all got a little bit of a screw loose. You know, you won't be doing the sport if you haven't. Yeah, exactly. He's, he's probably got a few more. <laughs> more than one. one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But well, top kid. So, um, February the 25th, yep. first six rounder, yep. first southpaw. Yep. Looking forward to it? Definitely. Big step up, big performance incoming. Well, do you know something? Everyone says that. But with you, I believe you. <laughs> I believe you. You're yeah. my little tip um, for for 2024. I think yeah, that's going to be a breakout year for you, and I think it's a year you become a champion, mate. Yeah, definitely. Hopefully, end of the year, God willing. So February 25th, the journey continues. Yeah. And hopefully, I'll be down there speaking to you and saying we're number five. God willing. God willing. Yeah. Ash, you take care, kiddo. You too, mate. Thanks. For all boxing info, news, and latest interviews. Amateur and Pro, across the north, click and subscribe. VIP, boxing promotions. Also, Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.